Hey guys, I've been getting some of you asking me about my computer, how I built it, da 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 da. So here, I'm gonna just give you a little video of it so you can see. I could build anybody, anything like this, better than this, worse than this, whatever you want, I can build it, as long as you don't want me to build a Mac. You can't build a Mac. Why? Because a Mac isn't a computer, and I build computers. You want a Mac? Take the biggest dildo you can find and shove it right up, never mind, let's just show you a real computer, okay? All right. This is my Thermaltake Zazer 6, Xaver, Xaver 6, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's an awesome friggin' tower. Alright, so, you, know, you got the basic look of it. I got some uh, cold cathode lighting in there, that's why it's all lit up blue like that. Those things are cheap too, those two uh, cold cathode lights, only $12. Very easy. Alright, you have a removable top. I can just push those uh, little clips there down, take this whole thing off. As you can see, I've got some of my cables stashed back there so you don't really see them. This is my header panel with uh, you know, the Firewire, two ESATAs, four USBs, the microphone and everything, power switch and all that. Open up the front door <coughs> to see my seven drive bays. First drive bay is a drawer. That's right, I got a freaking drawer in my computer. Got my DVD. These things, very easy to use. You pop in your uh, CD player right there. You don't even need any tools. This is all, well, 90% of this case is toolless. Usually it does require two hands. I'm going to try and finagle this in here with one. There we go. See that? Isn't that awesome? I got my memory card reader here. Down here is actually another intake fan and the hard drive bays. And there at the bottom is uh, basically like race cars have advertising. Well, that's everything that's in this computer. And yes, it is sitting on a plank of wood. This tower with everything in it is over 70 pounds. So I've got it on a kind of little skateboard thing there so I can move it around. Okay, let's pop this thing open. Look at this. One little thing here, and boom, side comes right off. Inside, got your power supply up top. That's the PSU, power supply unit. Uh, the main thing is this big thing in the back that everything's connected to. That is the motherboard. That's the MOBO. That's what you connect everything to, the most important part of your computer. Uh, Behind this fan and heat sink here is my quad-core AMD CPU, Central Processing Unit. I always and only buy AMD. I will build whatever you want, though. You want an Intel chip? I'll build you an Intel chip. You're paying for it. I like AMD because I just like the company. They have better business practices, in my opinion, and uh, they're considerably cheaper than Intel parts. And the only way you're really going to notice a speed difference is if you are a big photo editor, uh, somebody who's really, really going to use uh, your system hardcore. Then you might want to go ahead and go with an Intel. I'd still get an AMD, though, and just overclock the hell out of it. The graphic card is a Radeon uh, HD 5670, I believe. It's uh, an HIS one, which is... Uh, an aftermarket company that put the cooler on there. It's not overclocked or anything like that. It's just got an aftermarket cooler. Keep it nice. I don't have a sound card. I use the onboard audio. It's 7.1 channels of digital. Works fine for me. I currently have uh, two hard drives. The first one here is an SSD drive. That is a solid state drive. It's uh, basically like flash memory, only you know much faster and uh, more versatile and everything. I have my operating system installed on that. It's only 32 gigabytes. Gives me a few gigabytes left over for Windows 7 with all updates. Boots up super fast. The second drive is a 1.5 terabyte Seagate hard drive. It's got all my movies and everything on it, and I do mean all my movies. You see that top shelf there? That's all DVDs. Every one of those is in my computer, including all the DVDs that are on the right-hand side of that second shelf. How did I put copyrighted DVDs onto my computer? Slysoft. Look it up. 
Okay, what else do I have in there? The other two cables down here are actually the front panel connectors. So the ESATA uh, connectors on the front panel go directly to the motherboard. Freaking awesome. Oh, and then of course my eight gigabytes of Mushkin RAM. This right here, your RAM, that is what will really help speed up your computer. If you've only got like two gigabytes and you're one running uh, a 64-bit operating system like uh, <coughs> Vista or uh, Windows 7, you really should have at least four gigabytes. I'm running eight, works great. Don't have any problems with that at all. Got extra hard drive bays down here. Well, I've got all these hard drive bays. I've got all these bays up here. Why do I have all those bays? Expandability. Let's say I want to get a DVD burner. Let's say I want to put in another shelf. Um, there are lots of devices that monitor temperatures and speeds and everything in the computer, and they go in those bays as well. And then the hard drive bays, I've always wanted to have my own server uh, to run a server, and this is basically our home server now. I have it connected to the PS3 and the girlfriend's computer through my router there, and you can access all of my movies and everything from my computer on the PS3 or the girlfriend's computer, which is awesome. So that is my system. You want something like it? I can build you one like it. Um, I will not build you this exact system. I will not build you a computer in that tower. This is my tower. I'll build you the exact same specifications that mine has, but I won't give you that tower. Okay? It's mine. You can't have it. I don't want anybody else I know to have that tower. Okay? Okay. Any other questions, just email me. I'm more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.